Welcome to Science 10 at the Vancouver Learning Network. You have self-registered for this course, however, you are not fully registered or enrolled. And in this short video, we're going to show you the steps you need to do to be completely registered. The startup process has three parts, documentation, quizzes, and the startup assignment. The first thing you need to do is determine are you a VSB student, an adult, non-VSB, K-12 student, or an international student. And what you need to do is read the instructions very carefully to figure out what you need to submit. If you are a VSB student, you do not need to submit anything. And the instructions of what you need to submit can be found in the Assignments folder. Click on Evaluation, Assignments, and then documents. In the startup process there are two quizzes. First quiz is introduction to the course. What is your teacher's name? The number of modules? How many face-to-face -face exams there are? And then the second quiz has to do with physics. To find the quizzes go to evaluation, select quizzes, and then select the quiz you wish to do. All the quizzes in the course are limited to two hours and they are open book. Also, you can write the quizzes as many times as you wish and only the highest score counts. So far, you've submitted the documentation, you've completed the quizzes, and now we're going to look at the startup assignment. You will not be able to view and submit your startup assignment until you complete the two quizzes. As you can see here, I've completed the two quizzes and I'm going to refresh the page and then the startup assignment folder will be viewable. The startup assignment can be found on the course homepage on the left side. It is task number four. The startup assignment can be opened up in Microsoft Word, Apple Pages, Google Docs, or OpenOffice. Once you download the startup assignment, you'll notice that there are yellow sections. These yellow sections you need to complete in the word processing program such as Microsoft Word or Apple Pages or Google Docs or OpenOffice. The other section in the assignment are the physics questions and these are done with a blank piece of paper, pen or pencil and once you've done that then you will take a picture of that work or scan it and then submit both of those documents, the startup assignment with the yellow sections plus your physics work into the startup assignment folder. For each of the physics questions that has math you need to show five steps. For this example, a 10 kilogram bag of flour is lifted from the ground into a shopping cart a distance of 0.8 meters. What is the potential energy of the bag of the flour? The first step is to create a given box. You can see this on the left side. The next thing is number two is to create a simple drawing of the problem. Step three, what is the equation you're going to use? Step four, substitute the numbers and units. And step five, your final answer. To get help with the equations and solving the physics problems, you will go to the content section of the course. This problem was typed to make it easier for you to view. For you, you will have to use paper and pen to show your work. And again, as previously indicated, you will submit your work by taking pictures or scanning your work. To get help with the science content and science questions, select the content link and then select physics and then go through the lessons. The lessons will open up in a new page, Study Forge, and from there you can view the videos and other content. In this short video we discussed the startup process for the Science 10 online course. We discussed the documentation that you need to submit, the two online quizzes, the startup assignment. If you have any questions or concerns 
please contact your teacher right away. The best way to contact them is through the course email.